Number 85. Exercise. Daily application of the two-minute rule. You're listening to the very best podcast in the world on health, wealth, and happiness. Please remember to leave a review and share with all your friends and family. And here is your host, Lars Hilser. Hey guys, hey little guys, hey little boys, hey whatever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, welcome to Exercise Friday. Man, I uh, must suck every Friday exercise. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, what are we going to do today? Uh, we're going to figure out a way to daily apply the two minute rule, right? What the fuck is the two minute rule? <laughs> I know that's going to be like the first question that's going to come to your mind. Now, uh, sorry, I had the chuckles because I hung around on too many internet boards, which, which with very black humor. Um, so the two minute rule uh, is out of, well, basically, you know, organizing yourself bullshit books. Uh, and uh, what it says is that if you, have a task that takes two minutes or less, do it now, period. And that's what it says. Now, for the further description, obviously it's going to take you, you know, if you want to write down the task uh, into something to remind you later, you're going to invest 30 minutes taking out your phone, 30 minutes writing it down, at, sorry, 30 seconds to take out your phone, 30 seconds to write it down, and then you might as well have just done it. Right. And I was the, the king of procrastinating tasks uh, that could have been done immediately um, for many years, you know. Uh, and I actually would, my outlook back then, or, you know, my reminders today, when they were filled with shit like that, you know, it's like answering an email to X because, you know, you, you don't know what to write. Well, just write what you're thinking of writing. You know, it's like, don't formulate it too much, you know? And then I, I set up the rule for myself actually. Uh, and for the people I communicate with, if there's an email that's longer than a paragraph, I'll read the first paragraph, but I won't, I won't bother to read the second one. You know, it's like get everything into one paragraph, you know, three or four lines. If you're incapable of doing that, the message you're trying to convey is weak right? Uh, if it takes that much formulation. So, <clears throat> um, what is the two minute rule good for? Uh, yeah. And that's where I, you know, start to struggle to explain because, uh, you know, it's the simplicity that makes it so beautiful, right? Um, let me try to figure out an example because there's just so many and just find them, find an enlightening one, right? Let's say, um, you're in the office and, uh, you, I don't know, you just got a call and you want to confirm that call or the contents of that call with an email, you know, just to be on the safe side. If that fucker on the other side of the line just, you know, says, I can't remember what we discussed in the call write an email to cover your ass, you know, tell them, Hey, here's, you know, here's what we just discussed over the phone, dot, 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 send finished. That's the two minute rule. For instance, if you're at home, you know, and you, uh, I don't know, you've got a, a small basket of laundry sitting around to be put in the closet. Uh, it's going to take you two minutes or less do it now. You know, when you are aware, in the present moment that that thing is sitting there and isn't supposed to be sitting there, do it now without any exception. Now, um, the problem with the two minute rule is, you know, if you start over collecting these things, you know, and if you start to neglect it, you're going to have a thousand tasks, which last you know, around about two minutes. Uh, you're still going to end up with 2000 minutes. Uh, of time that you need to solve them. So therefore, you know, um, the question is how does it find application in daily life? And, uh, you know, how does it influence daily life? And the thing is really easy, uh, you know, once you've got a hang of it and that's the difficult part, which we're going to try to figure out, um, in this 
episode for you uh, to make your uh, daily life more structured. No, no, structured is such a prison word. You know, like <laughs> you have structure in the military and you have structure in prison, but should you have structure in your life? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm I'm open for alternative terms. You know, email the very best podcast in the world at gmail.com if you have, you know, good advice for other terms uh, than structure. And I'm too lazy to uh, to you know unpack the thesaurus and whatever moving carton it's in so how do you make most effective use of the two minute rule now first of all you have to have all your senses tuned into the present moment there it is again you know the present moment and awareness so um that you become aware of the things laying around and a call needs to be made and you know, whatever it is, right? Um, it's about not rushing through your day because then you're going to be rushing by these things for about a billion times and you're just not going to be tuned in to the current situation, which is going to prevent you from seeing these tasks, these minuscule things which don't even find value <laughs> in being added to your to-do list because you're, they're so fucking obvious, right? Um, and for me, for many years, this was actually the case. You know, I would just walk by shit because I was just so busy. I was too busy. And my day was in itself too ineffective that I would actually see those kind of things, uh, much less, you know, sp valuing such a thing with my valuable time. You know, for instance, the laundry basket, you know, as someone that lived out of a fucking suitcase for close to a decade, I couldn't be bothered, you know, to take my clothes that I'd gotten from the dry cleaner, uh, and putting them in the closet because I would be, you know, on an, on a flight out to God knows where, uh, within 48 hours, you know, dry cleaning day was usually Friday, uh, when I came home um from wherever you know then took everything to the dry cleaner dumped it usually out of the suitcase directly in the bag uh you know then saturday um, afternoon i would pick them up um you know and then i would just immediately put them back in the suitcase and for, so sometimes for weeks you know if the if it was between seasons for instance uh you know i would have clothes sitting around for weeks in a laundry basket uh in my in my dresser just waiting to be packed away, but it couldn't be bothered. You know, the task would, as I said, would have taken two minutes, actually much less probably. Um, but, uh, you know, I just walked by it seriously, probably a hundred times before I could actually be bothered, if at all, uh, to put those things away. Because if I was on a longer contract, it would be winter before I return and boom, there you go. You know, you need those clothes again. <laughs> so it was like this, this disgusting, this disgusting lifestyle of, um, you know, I don't give a fuck really. And that's where, you know, things pile up, especially these two minute shitty things, you know, uh, you got a plate sitting, uh, you know, in the, in the office, um, of the house because you had a, um, you know, whatever to eat while you were working. I was the kind of person that would leave the plate sitting there, you know, with, if it didn't have any schmooze on it or whatever, you know, where it couldn't, could attract rodents, uh, that, that plate could easily stand there for weeks and I wouldn't even notice it. You know, I'd run by it a hundred times or more actually before I put it away. So long story short, um, it's about awareness. And these were only things in my private life, right? So the same applies for tasks that you have on your to-do list in the office. Why do you fucking bother to write down that you need to call Bob? Pick up the fucking receiver and call Bob. You know, and if Bob doesn't pick up, then you can set yourself a reminder to call Bob again in, I don't know, uh, three hours or, you know, when Bob is back from his vacation or whatever. But, you know, <laughs> you know, it's like this thing. Yeah, of course, if you want to chit chat with Bob, but if you have something you want from Bob, give him a call right now. You know, there's no point in delaying it, right? So, um, the example, uh, I think is 
that I'm trying to make to get you to actually apply this, you know, to open your mind is to use this at home at first, because usually uh, life is less busy there. So um, you walk by something that doesn't belong there, you know, pick it up and put it away where it belongs immediately. I think that's like the first thing, <laughs> like the baby steps, right? Uh, and then, you know, take it from there, you know, take this awareness that you get and, you know, it'll, it's, it's a training exercise, really. You know, you have to do it throughout the weekend. If your kids leave something laying around, which belongs into their, uh, in, into their kids' room, pick it up, take it there, you know, or call them, tell them, hey, this doesn't belong here, take it immediately. And if they say, but mommy, I have to do, no, <laughs> Two minute rule has been has been implemented in this household valid in, or effective immediately. So uh, yeah, uh, that's kind of like the advice I have, and you you're gonna have to be become um, you know more aware of things that shouldn't be where they are, and if that is the case, uh, you know, and it takes two minutes or less to do, um, do it now. And in that sense, I hope you have a very productive two minute weekend. Uh, I, I shit you not. I was trying to make this episode two minutes and I just gave them the idea immediately because it was just so fucking ridiculous. So, um, have a nice two minute weekend, uh, and the rest of a successful, uh, two minute day, <laughs> and, uh, have a good night. And, uh, if you know someone who could benefit from this, that leaves, you know, stuff laying around or is, you know, kind of, anal about procrastinating away things that would take two minutes or less, send them the link to this episode. Because uh, it's um, the moment that you become aware of this and change that, it's actually, it goes into pretty much autopilot very quickly. And yeah, then I hope you have a successful weekend uh, and get some rest after, you know, this tumultuous week. And we'll be in touch next week. Uh, and if you have, as always, feedback, criticism, or whatever, email it to the very best podcast in the world at gmail.com. Now I am out because it's my weekend. See you soon, guys.